It is a new phase of the eruption as Kilauea spews out giant plumes of smoke and ash 12,000 feet high. Geologists say it could be from rocks falling into the crater or lava interacting with groundwater or a combination of the two. Scientists say this is not the big one they were predicting, but this was relieving some pressure on Kilauea. Does that mean that we won't see a, a much bigger, more explosive event? It, no, not necessarily. It could plug up and we could yet in the future have the so-called big one. Two new lava fissures broke open near the Kilauea volcano between Monday and Tuesday, bringing the total to 21 now. We're monitoring them to see if they're going to grow in size. There's a lot of sulfur dioxide coming out of many of the fissures. It is just so devastating. Scott Wiggers lives in Leilani Estates. His home was spared, but he ignored evacuation orders for a mission to document the devastation for his neighbors who are desperate to know if they have a home to come back to. What descriptive words would you use to describe what is happening in your neighborhood? It's awesome. It's powerful. It's beautiful. It's uh, disgusting. It's devastating. It's uh, any adjective that you can think of. That's what it is. If you live in the area like Scott does, or you're planning to travel here on vacation, two pieces of advice. This N95 mask is going to protect you from that ash. Now, officials say the ash is not toxic, but the mask is going to help with the particles. As for that sulfur dioxide gas that is so toxic, this mask will not protect you from that. And the best advice there is just stay away. David Begno, CBS News, Pahoa, Hawaii.